Hey guys, it is the last day of the month where we get to celebrate the new year and the day right before the month where those of us who are single get reminded how single we are. Yay, let's do news. First up, I have a lot of Nintendo-ish news to roll through, so let's get you all caught up. Nintendo has confirmed to GameSpot that Wii U production has ended globally, which is disappointing news for me and the other 14 people who bought Wii U's. In actuality, as of December 31 of last year, the console sold 13.56 million units worldwide. Nintendo also reported their earnings and hardware sales today, which revealed that while the Wii U has taken a 75% decrease hit in sales in the last nine months of 2016 compared to the year before, 3DS hardware sales are up 10%. In fact, the nifty little handheld sold almost 6.5 million units in just the last nine months of 2016, which is huge. The 3DS has now sold a total of 65.3 million units to date. Overall, Nintendo reported a substantial profit for the company in 2016. On the gaming side, Animal Crossing for mobile has been delayed until the next financial year, so it could arrive any time between this April to next March. Nintendo say the reason for the delay is to accommodate both Fire Emblem Heroes and Super Mario Run. Animal Crossing for mobile is no stranger to delays as it was originally slated to arrive in 2016. Finally, Super Mario Run has reached a whopping 78 million downloads, from which 5% of users have paid the $10 to unlock all the content, meaning the game has brought in at least $39 million in revenue, minus Apple's cut, of course. Next up, Resident Evil 7's first DLC has arrived on PS4. The banned footage volume 1 content comes with two scenarios and a mode called Ethan Must Die. The first of the two scenarios, a Bedroom, sees you trying to escape from a locked room, while the second, called Nightmare, will have you fending off waves of enemies until morning. The Tough as Nails Ethan Must Die mode is separate from the tapes and story of the main game and does not support PSVR. Band Footage Volume 1 is out now on PS4 as part of the $30 season pass or as a standalone download for $10 and will be available on Xbox One and PC on February 21. Band Footage Volume 2 is due out on Valentine's Day or February 14. Finally, Square Enix has dropped some Final Fantasy release dates. The publisher announced today that the HD remaster of Final Fantasy XII will launch exclusively for the PS4 on July 11. Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age will reportedly feature better looking backgrounds, character models and cutscenes, an autosave feature, reduced loading times, Japanese and English voices, as well as the option to use the original or re-recorded score. Turbo Mode is also being improved and there will now be support for 7.1 surround sound. Square also announced the release dates for Final Fantasy XV's upcoming expansion packs. The Final Fantasy XV Booster Pack will launch on February 21 and will give you, quote, an exhilarating experience in battles, presumably via the expansion's Power Rangers-esque Magitek Exosuit. March 28 will see the release of Episode Gladio, which fittingly allows you to play as Gladio. Episodes for other party members, Ignis and Prompto, as well as the Comrade expansion that will add four-player co-op featuring the four main characters, are due out later, though no date has been officially announced. All of Final Fantasy XV's DLC is included in the $25 season pass on Xbox One and PS4. That is it from me today. Do head to GameSpot for our live stream replay of Resi 7's first DLC and a look at Dishonored 2's Crack in the Slab level. I will see you again tomorrow.